of you. Thank you for being here tonight with us in Santa Marta. Uh, Mr. Ambassador Leslie Grossell Appleby, her wife, Barbara. This is Sandra Howard, Vice Minister of Tourism of Colombia. Mr. Andrew Bishop, Managing Director of Art. It is with a great pleasure for us here in Santa Marta to have you all visiting here. We have been working very hard together with Andrew to be able to attract his attention to bring you to Santa Marta. I hope that we have spoiled you here during your stay. And soon in the future, some of you or most of you will be back visiting us here in Santa Marta. We know we have a long way to go, and we wish you all the best during this great nation, as I say from the beginning. For me, it's wonderful just the fact of taking 15 months to go around the world. I wish you, as they say here in Spanish, buen bien y buena mar, in English is fair winds. So now I'll give you a round Vice Minister for Tourism, Sandra Howard. His Excellency, the British Ambassador, Lindsay Corsell Appleby. The CEO of Santa Marta Marina, Dr. Manuel Bahia. Oh, world art, oh, sorry, other distinguished guests, uh, world art participants. Welcome to this fantastic venue for the end of what has been an amazing visit here to Santa Marta. Just to give you an example of how we are revered in, in visiting Santa Marta, I'd just like to let you know that we've actually had a letter from El Senor Presidente of the Republic of Colombia, Dr. Juan Manuel Santos, who was invited to the dinner this evening who has, through his office, replied to say that he, unfortunately, is unable to join us, but wishes us all the very best for our visit to Colombia. So, to the President of Colombia, our thanks for his warm welcome to what has been an amazing visit here to Santa Marta and Colombia. Manuel mentioned that they've been Courting me for a long time, and the truth is that's about four years. This year, this time a year ago, I was here experiencing some amazing hospitality, similar to what you've experienced in the last, in the last week. And I now feel that our courtship between World Cruising Club and Santa Marta Marina has ended in a marriage. So to Santa Marta Marina we're, we're delighted to be here with the first stopover of World Art and the first stopover on this particular World Art 2015-16 So many people and participants have done so many different things North School Tourism is something that we're used to. It's something that Colombia is embracing and I'm really delighted that our participants have got out there, explored, gone to Cartagena, gone to Taronga National Park, done so many different things to really not just be in the marina and the closest bars, but to actually get out and explore what life here is all about. And for those of us that went on Sunday to the local school visit, I think that was what we felt was really getting in amongst the community where we visited the Fundahumac activity here in Santa Marta, a small group of us, and 45 children, all the teachers, some of the parents, 
had all turned out smartly dressed on a Sunday morning to receive the gifts that were kindly donated by Santa Marta Marina and also by the event organisers here in Santa Marta. It was, for those of you that weren't there, it's a, it's a system whereby the children are assisted through education. They're, they're children that are outside the normal education system who are brought into education. Their parents have to be involved. And the clever thing is that once they get back into the education system, they complete their education, they then come back as mentors for the next generation. And so it's a self-perpetuating perpetuating, uh, activity. And we so thoroughly enjoyed uh, that particular visit. So much so that we're going to choose the Fund Humac Association or body, the charity, as the charity that we donate to while we're here in Santa Marta. For those of you that are not participants, every, uh, every stopover we, we collect the coins and notes that we haven't used that are probably going to be too small to change and donate them to a local good cause. And I very much hope that uh, we will raise a, a, a significant amount to donate and I have pledged to the skippers at an earlier meeting that World Cruising Club will match fund that donation up to $250 to, uh, tomorrow. So I hope that we'll uh, make a real difference to that activity here. I wouldn't be able to sit down without thanking uh, those people that have helped us, in particular uh, Pro Columbia, Fontour, the company OPE who have been instrumental in organising uh, the activities, the tremendous support of the Government of Colombia, as witnessed by the attendance of uh, Sandra here with us this evening, and of course, without whom we wouldn't be able to do anything, Santa Marta Marina. So to Manuel, to Mauricio, to all the staff at Santa Marta Marina, thank you very much, thank you for a great visit, and we look forward to coming back with World Arc again next year. Thank you. Good evening everyone, Mr. Ambassador of the United Kingdom, Lindsay Crosley Lapidi, their friend Andrew Bishop, Manager Director of the ARC, Manuel Julian Davila, President of the Board of Marina Santa Marta, Eduardo Osorio, Director of the National Fund of Tourism, Mr. Enrique Celavati, Vice President of Tourism of Pro Colombia, Mauricio Bucalón, Commercial Manager of Marina Santa Marta, Special Friends Participants of the ARC, all the sailors, crew, skippers, members of the press, and all friends that came from England, Germany, United States, France, Switzerland, Australia, Holland, and Iceland. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you tonight Honored by the opportunity to share with the sailors and directors of the World Atlantic Rally for Cruisers and seeing how the dream of a few visionaries became a reality that today is shared by an entire country. It has been truly exciting to see your vessels entering Colombian waters, traveling so far and arriving to our beloved historic city of Santa Marta. To be able to read comments of your blogs, social media, and networks about the journey, the expectations, and feelings on arrival is truly enlightening as they will teach us how to improve, constantly seeking a greater experience for you and all the fellow voters you should share thoughts with. We really appreciate the chance to show a country that is willing to become a world-class destination for voters from all over that strategic position with coast on both the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean, significant improvement in tourism, infrastructure, internet, hotels, restaurants and shopping malls, as well as a growing offer of varied and fascinating natural and cultural attractions, are a few of the facts that should make you want to come back to Colombia with a bit more time to enjoy and many more friends to share, relax and have fun.
Also, knowing that we are located below the hurricane bed and offer facilities like Marina Santa Marta, part of the internationally well-known family of IGY marinas, will give you peace of mind and make you feel at home knowing that they will take good care of you. That's what we really want. That while you are here, you get to meet our people. We are happy, kind, positive, hardworking, and proud to be part of a country that is one of the most strong and long-lasting democracies of this continent. With a stable economy that offers some of the best conditions for investors in the region. It has the second richest biodiversity in the world per square kilometer. It is multicultural and home of some of the most authentic and unique Aboriginal communities that still live in their natural environment, that respects nature and supports sustainable development and tourism. In the name of our country, I must express how thankful we are with Mr. Andrew Bishop, Director of IRC, for believing, for giving us the opportunity to show him the nautical facilities we have to offer at this point, while we keep working to develop new ones at other key points of our geography. I also want to say thanks to captains and crews of 14 sailing boats that has arrived to Marina Santa Marta from eight different countries and for staying over a few days in our town. And to Marina Santa Marta, its director and entire staff, I respect you, Manuel, for persevering in this goal. Being a pioneer is never easy, but you did it. This is the second world-class event that now has Santa Marta on their future plans, and our joint work will continue, along with Contour and ProColombia, with the full support of the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Tourism to attract events that build up the reputation of our country. Just so you know, we have big plans. Our goal is that by the year 2030, Colombia will become a reference in South America and the Caribbean for navigators all over, offering more than 11,000 sleeps at marinas and both, on both coasts and the islands of San Andres and Providence, with over 150 organized service services providers at these nautical facilities that will also stimulate Colombians to enjoy the privilege of 365 days of warm waters. I cannot finish without mentioning how meaningful is the fact that many of you were interested in participating in the social volunteer activity with the kids at Fundeva. By doing so, you are helping pave the way for these kids not only to receive better education, but also to understand that tourism can contribute to a healthy relation between societies and cultures and also instigate their curiosity to want to learn more language, to inspire to study more about this worldwide phenomenon called tourism and be part of it. Hopefully, at the end of this leg of your trip, you will be able to feel and share with others that as much or little you might have heard about this country, by getting to live our culture, enjoy our flavors, the music, brush up on your Spanish, and just feel the warmth of our people, you will be able to confirm that Colombia's good beauty really goes far deeper than what catches the eye. You will be able to understand or create your own explanation as to why Colombia is the land of magical realism. I wish you a safe journey wherever the winds should take you, but don't, come, don't forget the way back. We'll be waiting for you. Thank you. We've got some fantastic prizes to give away tonight, some large bottles of champagne, some coffee from Colombia, and so the first prize giving of World Art 2015 is with us tonight. And the first prize we're going to give away, and I'm going to ask Sandra to kindly present the prizes to start with, and then I'd like the British Ambassador to kindly join us on the stage to present the, the last prize. But to start with, the ETA competition. And for those of you who are not participants, we ask all of the yachts before they leave to guess 
the time that they're going to arrive. And so, on this leg, the difference between the first, sorry, the difference, the winner had a difference of two hours and ten minutes, and the finish time that they guessed was on the 14th of January at 2030, and the guess was at 22.40, with a difference of just two hours and ten minutes. So they're the winners of the first basket of the coffee at the end of the table, which is going to the boat, Exocet Strike. We're going to now give three prizes in the cruising division. The motoring penalty for those actually on World Art, the motoring penalty was decided as as 1.8. The results will be published so that you can see how you all did. But third in the cruising division was Pentagram. And moving on to second in the cruising division, I know we're all getting hungry, we're almost there. Second, Ayama. And last 
but by no means least the sponsor of our visit here in Santa Marta uh, for believing in us and asking us to bring the event here and persuading us to bring the event here, Manuel de Vila. Thank you very much, Andrew. We also have a little for you. We would like to give you this thank you in the name of Santa Marta and Ana Santa Marta for living with us to dare to bring all these sailors and great people from the ocean to Santa Marta. And this is the recognition of the marina to be the first art and made the town. possible without the help of the government of Colombia. We are very lucky to have a special vice minister who is from the islands. She understands what sailing means and what is important for us in the coast to bring boats to great marinas. Uh, the vice minister Sandra has worked very hard from the beginning on working on multiple recreational marinas. And this is a recognition of Marina Santa Marta for all the help of the government, and especially for her, that believes in these marinas and these nautical events, and we just wish to keep her as a vice president to keep continuing to push and help with all these events, and, and regardless that we would like to keep having her in Colombia. So, Sandra, this is on behalf of the Marina Santa Marta, the board director, and I'm sure to some people over there. Thank you.